Scientists have just invented a real-life T-1000 robot from Terminator 2 that can pass through metal bars. I know it sounds like something out of a movie because, well, it is, but it's also real. They used a metal called gallium that melts at room temperature and added magnetic particles to it. Like you should add this channel to your following feed. Then they used a magnetic field to heat up the material, making it melt and pass through metal bars. But that's not all. They were also able to manipulate the metal and make it jump, climb walls, and even split in half. So there's tons of possibilities for this stuff from fixing hard to reach circuits to helping clear blockages in the body. So this is some really cool tech and I particularly really enjoyed the fact that this thing is just sh shaped like a Lego brick that just I just made my day. That's a nice little touch. Uh, obviously, this is very impressive, very cool to watch if we just scroll through the video very quickly. And in the end, we have this little demonstration how you might have some sort of an obstruction in the body. And then this thing is just basically able to wrap around it and then you can just sort of move it out of the way which is really cool this is a quick little demonstration over here how it works now the thing that i don't get and i'm not really gonna dive into it too deeply is that this thing uh, basically becomes a liquid at 30 degrees celsius and last time I checked, uh, us humans run uh, a little bit hotter than 30 degrees Celsius. So currently we're running between 36 and 37 degrees Celsius. And I do believe we are actually slowly heating up with each generation. So that is just a little fun fact. So yeah, I don't know how this would exactly solidify in the body. Maybe the stomach doesn't uh, run at such a high temperature, which I don't think is the case. Maybe they have to cool you down or something. But anyways, this is really cool tech. Uh, I really just can't imagine all the applications for this because this is not really my field, but obviously it could be useful, right? Clearing maybe some vents, some tubes, uh, doing something on like a circuit board, something on a very hard to reach area where you might actually have a bigger area inside the area that you can work in, but the access to that area is a lot more constricted and stuff like that. So really cool tech and it's going to be very interesting to follow this throughout the next few years to see what happens.